I wanted to go through the setup to get you into starting with the skills exercises for the electrical circuits. We need to build something to mount all of the boxes and run all of our cables through. And I would encourage you to use the set of plans provided and build this simple structure, which is basically a framed wall in miniature to, it, to install all of your circuits in. I wanna go through the process of how to do that. I know you'll be doing this at home and there is a specific set of instructions that we're gonna offer you to get through this whole setup procedure to, to then get started with the electrical. So let's go ahead and take a look at these plans. Page one is showing you the setup of this. There is a whole lesson and a whole program on framing, specifically wall framing, and that's really what you're building here. This is a, a wall that's shorter than normal, has all the same parts as a regular framed wall. You've got a top plate and a bottom plate, and then these vertical pieces on a regular uh, spacing that follow through. And we've got one, uh, we'll call these studs. I've got a stud at the beginning, a stud at the end. There's one exactly in the middle, and then one at every 12 inches. So I've, this is one foot, two foot, three feet, and then at the end it's four feet. So if you have a tape measure, the easiest way is to place these studs uh, lined up or centered on those foot measurements. If you uh, want to get into the specific measurements you'll see on this drawing, you can measure those out, mark them out using a tape measure and a speed square. These are tools, a framer's uh, set of tools, and you can make these, uh, you can do this build as exactly as you would like to. What the goal is here is to get this framing in place so that you can then run your electrical circuits. So I would recommend that your holes that you have to drill, uh, you would do those before you assemble this. It will make it easier for you. You can use a spade bit and any type of electric or cordless drill. The holes should be at least a half an inch to accept the 14.2 or 14.3 cable that you'll run through it. Get all of your parts lined up, laid out on the floor, and now you can assemble all of this. I recommend taking your top plate and then assembling all of your vertical pieces to your top plate exactly where they need to go on your foot marks or on the marks you've made from your plans. Then you can attach your bottom plate to all of the bottom ends of all of the studs. Once you get all those connections done, two uh, fasteners per end, now you're ready to do your skills exercise. You can do these connections with three inch screws and a cordless drill, or you can use a hammer and 16 D nails. Either one will work fine. The setup is just to have framing here so that we can then run and route our cables and have a place to fasten our junction boxes to. So good luck with this. Once you get this all set up, we're gonna get into some real fun with building these electrical circuits in this wall.